Ignition Music Garage and Goshen Brewing Company teamed up for a new musical experience in downtown Goshen. Lots of people have been talking about Music Fest in Goshen and you know, I some of these bands I really wanted to, to bring to the community again. Uh, the three-day music festival was split between the two. I felt really honored to be the first night and all of us at Ignition just felt really honored by that. There's a great synergy between Ignition and GB Co. It's, it's a very important relationship to me personally. This is the first time that the two local music venues merged to create one event. GoFest just uh, takes it to the next level with the big stage that we've got here. It's the first time we've had a big stage and, and, and I just see it like getting bigger. And the festival was an exciting step in the next direction for live music in Goshen. Well, I mean, I really think, I uh, hope this takes kind of Goshen's music to the, kind of that next level. Just the energy and bringing everybody together, especially in a town like Goshen where everybody's going to show up, you know they're going to be here. I live <laughs> for it. Uh huh. The musical lineup consisted of 11 bands, including co-headliners Future Birds and Israel Nash. Local bands were invited to perform at Ignition. You know, Go Fest is really part Goshen Fest, you know, kind of short for that a little bit as well. So we want to include, like we said, a lot of the great local talent. But also tonight we've got a lot of a lot of nationally touring, internationally some touring bands. La Locura, a Latin soul fusion band from Goshen, opened day two of the festival, the only local group on the GB Co stage. It's always good to play in Goshen. This is like home to us, right? So everybody here is family, uh, familiar faces, always some new faces. Um, but it's always good to play in front of the family, so it's always fun playing here at uh, GB Co. As for next year, audience members are ready. Yeah, let's do it. I'd buy a ticket now. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Amelia Lee.